would like to announce uh, this morning that uh, we are initiating the first Girls Who Code uh, Club in El Paso. We recently started a organization called Creed, which is made up of a group of business people and professionals. And the whole idea behind Creed is to focus on education. So one, one of the programs that we initiated is Girls Who Code. And the Girls Who Code program targets the area of technology. Uh, Isleta School District and Parkland High School is the first uh, uh, high school that has this kind of a program. Coding is a language that you put into the computer for it to understand because a computer can't do anything. If you just have it you know, turned off, you hit the space key, you hit any of the keys, nothing's going to happen. But with coding, the computer, if you click W, it interprets it as put W on the screen. So that's what it does. It's a language that computers speak in. We're going to get VEX robots, some tiny ones that we can code and actually see what happens when we code. We can see the execution of the code in real life, real time. And that's our next project. But thus far we've been doing Scratch and definitely Python, a little bit of C+, and maybe JavaScript in the future. I always had an interest in programming and coding, and I wanted to get better at it as I get older. When I tell a lot of people that I'm in here, they're like, oh, isn't that like too nerdy, or isn't that for guys only? And I told them, no, it's like, it's for everyone. And a lot of girls should get into it because it's fun and we need more women in the computer science field. And even though it might be nerdy, it's still a benefit to have this kind of skill to have later on in the future.